Hello again from Hunter's Instinct. We're going to do two reviews on two different rifles, but they're both 30 out sixes. One's a Remington Model 4, which I think was in it's 1984. And this one is a Browning Belgium 1959 30 out 6. It's one of 200. But we're going to get to both of them here, and I think we'll start with the Remington Model 4, which is the first gas powered semi automatic that Remington came out with. And I think, in my opinion, it's one of the best Remington rifles that there is. And they only made them from 81 to 1987. And I think they might have made one rifle in 1988, and that was the last of the production of it. And you can distinctly tell them apart because at the bottom, if you see, I don't know if you can see it, the light ain't too good. There is the, let's see. It's got the shell casing, the back of it, embedded into the metal. So this is a 30 out 6 Springfield. And I don't know the real reason why they have stopped producing these, but uh, to me, like I said, it's probably one of the best semi-automatic hunting rifles that they that Remsen has come out with. I mean, even in the 700s, whatever, this is probably the best Remington rifle that you can buy. Everything is smooth on it. Like I said, it's gas powered. And I'll show you how smooth the action is. And when I purchased this rifle, it uh, the guy had never fired it or nothing, and so I was the only one that got to hunt with this rifle, and I am very pleased with it. And anybody's got these older model guns, semi-auto max, you know that the bolt goes into the front here. And it's hard to put, you have to get an adapter. And you can get it on online through the internet that you can put a bipod on. And I just got a pretty decent cheap scope on it. It's a BSA cat's eye. As you see, it's got the cat's eye right there. And this is a 3 by 9 3 by 10 by 44 and it's a good cheap clear scope it's got the weather kind of rubbery texture to it so and it does got come with the mag just like the 742's and the 7400's stack on It's got the pretty walnut stock. Now, like I said, this is the Model 4, not the 742 or the 7400. And it is built a little different. I don't know. We 
can sit down here and I'll show you the inside works here. Yeah, I ain't got the light. But the boat and everything works is a little different. The teeth, the boat itself is a little thicker and better built than the 7400. But it's all around, in my opinion, the best semi automatic rifle that Remington has ever built. And in all their lines, I think this is the best rifle that Remington has ever built. That's just my opinion. A lot of people probably had a difference. Now I'm going to switch these two rifles out and show you the other rifle. And this in here, the next one I'm going to show you, I need to take and have it lined up and everything. But what's funny about these two rifles is these two rifles does not like shooting Winchester ammo. And I don't know why, but I've never had no luck of shooting these rifles with Winchester ammo. They shoot Remington Corlock good, and they shoot Hornady good. And I probably don't go with ever the Remington Corlocks or the Hornady ammo for them. And that's the two that they like best. I've tried Winchester, but this one here, what I'm about to show you, didn't like it at all. That's the reason why I got to reline it up. So we did have it lined up on Remington Corlox 150 grain, and then I tried Winchester, and instead of shooting my Remington with it to make sure. I uh, messed with my scope and it had me shooting all over the place. So let me set this other rifle up and we'll look at it and go over it and tell you about it a little bit. Okay, now the rifle number two, 30 out 6. This is a Browning Belgian, 1959. This started the Safari series. It is built on an FN Mauser action and it's one of 200 for 1959 and they didn't really plan on selling that many of these rifles so I think there was like 50 of them that had uh, good stocks on them and then there was rest of them was salt tree stocks and then after so many years you know them stock salt tree stocks would uh, break and get moisture in them crack and all this so people would have to uh, get new stocks and stuff but this is an excellent rifle the guy that changed the stock on this, went and got a Boyd's Walnut Colony stock and it is beautiful. It goes well with the FN Mauser action. You can just see how it flows. Now this is a 30 op 6 and it is a smooth action. And it is a long action. Like I said, this is the FN Mauser action. See how it works. I just can't hardly work it on this. I got my bags over at the hunting blind. I'm supposed to got them, forgot them, but. Anywho, if I had to take the rear sights off for this scope to sit on there, and them are, I think, inch high, 
rings and mounts. Now I've got a 6 by 18 by 50 just a Bushnell banner. I think you can get them for like a little over a hundred and some dollars, but it's nice and clear. And like I said, I had this thing lined up once and now uh, I've got to do it again because I do want to deer hunt with it. And I've only took it one time since I've had it and I've had it for four years now. And it's just a excellent, beautiful gun. And here's the markings on the back. I'm not for sure if y'all can see it. Let me put it over here in the sun a little bit. Let's see. The gold inlay. It's just a fabulous looking gun. And when I go to shoot this and line this up, I am going to make a video on it. And it does shoot very well. It's smooth. It's just a good all around gun. And that's my 30 alt sixes. I hope y'all enjoy I hope y'all enjoyed checking out my rifles I sure do like getting them out and playing with them and stuff and there's one more thing I was wanting to show you on this if I can get it up here here's the safety I mean, you don't move it much to knock it off safety. And I'll show you the boat all the way out. Give me one second. This is the boat to the rifle. Like I said, I've not had this rifle out much. I've only took it out a couple of times to shoot it and to see the, what kind of ammo it likes. So right now, this one I am leaning more towards the the Remington core locks. And yeah, like I was saying, was <clears throat> looks like I'm leaning more towards the Remington 150 grain core locks. And I don't get out. I like to take this out one time and hunt, and maybe knock the arrow or something with it. I don't know. I took it out one time and it was no success, but uh, other than that, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I like this rifle pretty good. I've never shot none with it except for paper. And you see when this goes in, this comes, as you turn this, this goes in and locks and then when you work it it comes back up like that pull straight out let's see if I can get this on camera See how that twisted? It stays in its place, but the bolt twists. And that right there goes down into that slot. Thank you for watching.
Hope you enjoy looking at my two rifles. It was my two thirty out sixes. And like I said, you'll probably see me out with this during deer season. And maybe some of the model fours. I don't know. But I gotta take the bipod back off of it, put them on Browning Expo so we can get some more coyote hunting done. And thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and I really appreciate y'all watching the videos. And we got some good stuff hopefully coming up. And everybody just have a great weekend. And uh, spring's here. So let's enjoy it. Get outside. Have fun. Thank you for watching.